Welcome to my channel friends. Today I am going to explain a beautiful French drama romance movie in which a man is attracted towards her beautiful neighbor. So will he able to get her love? For that watch the full video. So let's the explanation begin. In the beginning of the movie, we see a man named Martin who runs his own bakery in a small village in France. Martin tells about himself that he came here from Paris seven years ago. Here was his father's bakery. And since then he is running this bakery with his wife. Next, when Martin is making bread, he burns it. When asked by his wife, he tells her that he was thinking about Charlie, lest he should commit suicide. His wife tells him that he will not do anything like this. You shouldn't think about all this. After this Martin goes to Charlie's house, where Charlie was burning his wife Gemma's belongings. Then Charlie goes inside the house for some work. Martin gets Gemma's diary there, for which he keeps it with him. After that, he comes home and starts reading the diary. And then the film goes into flashback, where we see that Gemma and Charlie are newly married, and both of them are very happy. Then they both go to that village, where Martin lived, to spend their further life peacefully. Seeing new people in his village, Martin goes to them and introduces himself. Then Martin tells his family about a novel named Madame Bovary. The characters in that novel were exactly like Gemma and Charles, because their surname was also Bovary. That's why Martin started getting interested in her. A few days later, Gemma and Charlie go to Martin's bakery to buy bread. After seeing her beauty, Martin is attracted towards Gemma. After this, when Martin was going home, he meets Gemma on the way. He takes her to see a beautiful garden, seeing whom Gemma is very happy. After this, Charlie goes to Martin's house at night and tells him that the light in his house has suddenly gone off. Then Martin goes with him to his house and he turns the light back on. Then Martin's wife also comes there. And then, all four of them start talking, while having a drink. During this, Martin is only looking at Gemma. A few days later, Gemma goes to Martin's bakery. Martin asks her, do you want to see how bread is made? Gemma says yes to this. After that, Martin takes her to the kitchen, where he used to make bread. Then Gemma also started making bread. Martin asks how does this feels. Gemma says that, I feel like I am doing yoga. It was getting very hot in that room. So Gemma takes off her sweater. After this, Martin starts staring at Gemma's body. Then one day, Martin and his wife are having lunch with Gemma and Charlie's friends. Then Gemma's friend takes her inside to show the house. Then she tells Gemma that girls should exercise to keep their body fit. That's why I exercises daily. Gemma also likes this thing, and she also starts exercising from the next day. Then one day, Martin meets Gemma on the way. He asks her why you haven't come to the bakery for so long, to which Gemma says that she is on a diet. So she has stopped eating bread, saying this she starts leaving. Then a poisonous insect bites her, due to which she feels a lot of pain. She calls Martin to her and asks to remove the insect from her. Martin checks her and tells her that you have been bitten by a poisonous insect, so he will have to suck out its poison. Gemma hears this and tells him to do the same. Then Martin starts sucking the poison. Just then a boy named Herve comes. He asks Martin what is he doing. Martin is explaining to him. Just then Gemma faints. Then both of them take Gemma to the doctor, where the doctor injects Gemma and says that, now you will be fine. When all three are returning, Gemma falls asleep on Martin's shoulder. Martin becomes very happy to see this, and he feels that Gemma likes him too. The next day, Gemma's friend shows her a magazine, in which she sees Patrick's photo, which reminds Gemma of her past. Patrick used to be Gemma's boyfriend, but one day Gemma sees Patrick with another girl, which leaves her heartbroken. The next day, when Martin was standing outside his shop, he saw Gemma talking with Herf. Seeing this, he thinks that soon the affair of these two will start, because the same thing happens in the novel. Then the next day, Gemma goes to the supermarket to buy wine, where Herf also comes. He tells Gemma the wine of his choice. Gemma also buys that wine. After this, we see Martin, who is going home, after delivering the bread. On the way, he sees Gemma who is going somewhere. Martin stops to see her. Martin sees that Gemma is going to Herve's house. Seeing this Martin gets shocked. Then he thinks that Gemma must have come to drink wine with Herve. The same night, Martin goes to dinner at Gemma's house, where he sees a love bite around Gemma's neck. Seeing this, he understands that something must have happened between Gemma and Herve, as written in the novel. This hurts Martin very much, because he liked Gemma. The next day, Martin sees Herve, who was very upset. Martin goes to him and asks what happened. Herve tells him that he is not able to concentrate on his studies at all. Martin tells him to invite his girlfriend over so that she can help him with his studies. After this, he sees Gemma going somewhere. 
Then we see Gemma making love with Herf, which means Martin was right about Gemma. The next day, Gemma comes to Martin's bakery to buy bread, but she forgets a bread packet there. When Martin sees the packet, he goes to Gemma's house to deliver it. He heard some voices were coming from Gemma's house. Martin watches silently, so he sees her with Gemma. Gemma tells her I love you. Martin feels very bad hearing this, and he leaves. The next day, Martin sees Gemma going somewhere in a long suit. Gemma goes to Herb's house and taking off her long suit. After this, both start making love to each other, during which Gemma breaks the statue kept there, which belonged to Harv's mother. Harv gets very nervous seeing this. Gemma tells him that she will get this fixed. Her husband does the same job. After this Gemma tells Herv that we will go to London from here and spend their life there. Herv also agrees to this. That night, Martin is thinking about Gemma. He sends Gemma a letter in Herb's name. It was written in it that he is leaving her forever. After reading this, Gemma goes to meet Herb. But Herb does not pick up her phone. As he was with his mother, he informs Gemma that he will not be able to go to London with her because he is going to Paris with his mother. Gemma gets upset after reading this. Herb's mother then goes to Charlie and she asks him for the idol because Herb told his mother that there was a scratch on the statue. So he gave it to be repaired. But Charlie tells her that he does not know about the statue, nor has he heard of Herb's name. After this, Charlie packs his bags and leaves for London, as Gemma was not paying any attention to him. After this Gemma was all alone. A week later Martin finds Gemma's dog on the way. He takes her to Gemma. Gemma tells Martin to read a notice, which Herb's mother sent to her, because she thinks her statue was stole by Charlie. Gemma tells Martin to write her answer. But during this Martin's attention was only on Gemma. He tells Gemma that he will write the answer in a day or two. And he leaves. The next day, Gemma sees Patrick, who came to her neighborhood. Gemma was doing the interior design of that house. Patrick tells her that his marriage is broken. But Gemma does not talk to him. The next day, Gemma invites Martin to the church. Martin thinks that Gemma is going to propose him. Because the same thing happens in novel. But Gemma doesn't come. After that. Martin sees Gemma with Patrick. It seems to him that her affair has started with Patrick, but it wasn't. Gemma was angry with herself because she didn't stop Patrick from coming close to her. She tells Patrick not to come in front of her ever. After that, while cleaning the house, Gemma finds the statue. Charlie repaired that statue, and he also knew about Gemma's affair. Gemma calls Charlie and says sorry. After hearing this, Charlie decides to come back. Gemma also apologizes to Martin because she didn't come to church. Then they come home and start talking. During this, Herve's name comes out of Martin's mouth. Gemma then learns that the letter was sent by Martin in Herve's name. Gemma asks him why he did this. Martin tells that he was afraid that Gemma would also commit suicide because as it was written in the novel, all that was happening to Gemma. Gemma explains to him that she will not do such a thing. Then she kisses him. Martin makes bread for Gemma. He goes to her house and drops the bread at the doorstep. The next morning, Patrick goes to Gemma with the same bread. Charlie also comes there. After a while, he runs to Martin. When Martin comes and looks inside, Gemma is already dead. It seems to him that Gemma has also committed suicide as written in the novel. But at night the doctor tells him that Gemma died of suffocation. Martin's bread got stuck in her throat. The next day at the funeral, Martin apologizes to Charlie. But Charlie tells him that it is his fault. Because when he came back, he saw Patrick with Gemma. He felt that he was forcing her, but he was helping her. Then Patrick says that it is his fault. Because when Gemma eats the bread, he grabs her from behind. And the bread gets stuck in her throat. After this the movie comes to the present time. Where Martin is reading Gemma's diary. After six months a new family moved in their neighborhood. Martin goes to meet them. And tells about the novel of their surname. On that note movie ends. So friends that's all in today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in the next video. Till then peace out.